In this task, we will apply naive base in order to classify a certain dog into the classes well behaved or dangerous. We are given this data set over here, which contains characteristics of certain dogs as well as, as a ground truth class of their character, which can be either well behaved or dangerous. So the first step again is to compute the a priori probabilities. So the probability that a dog is well behaved is, let's see, one, two, three, four, divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the other way around that it's dangerous is one, two, three, divided by seven. The next step is then to compute the attribute value probabilities. And um, yeah, I want to give one example there. So the probability that the color is black, given that the dog is dangerous, is um, yeah, computed as the probability that the color is black and the dog is dangerous divided by the probability that the dog is dangerous a priori, which is over here. So what we get is, let's let's have a look, colors black and dog is dangerous. So this applies to this example here, big and uh, black and dangerous, and also this one, black and dangerous, but not this one, white dangerous. So we get two out of seven divided by f uh, three out of seven, and this is two third. Okay, now we do that for every um, configuration. So for every P of attribute equals value uh, given a certain class. And then we have our full table of attribute value probabilities given our class. Now the task is to actually classify a new example which is not contained here, which would be the color is black, the fur is ragged, and the size is small. And for that we want to use naive base classifier. And that means that we have uh, that we are able to actually take a certain assumption. And this assumption is that the probability of here we call it B1, B2, B3. So the probability that all these three things apply, this is color equals black, this is fur equals ragged, and this is size equals small, is basically the product, the product of our P, B, J, or just P, B1, times PB2 times PB3. So we basically assume independence here. And if we do this, um, yeah, we actually get to simplify our computations a lot. So what we are supposed to compute is the probability of our events A1 and A2, which is well behaved and A2 would be dangerous, given our observed features, if you want, so our characteristics. And now we first get to apply the theorem of base, which is um, that we actually get to use the conditions 
the other way around if you want. So B1, B2, B3 under the condition of A1 divided by probability of B1, B2, B3. And here we now get to yeah, use this independence property and um, over here we actually get to use another independence property which would be probability that all three characteristic characteristics apply given that the animal is or the dog is um, well behaved equals again the product of the probability that one feature applies given that um, this animal is uh, dangerous uh, is not dangerous well behaved so yeah we we do this by by assumption but in order to clarify maybe i should do one thing and this is to actually note that this is just an approximation by naive base so this is not perfectly fine but it's enough for our um, yeah, classification purposes here. So these probabilities have actually been observed um, in a previous step. So we can just fill them in here. And this over here is actually just the product over there. And um, yeah, we can just apply them by observing our data set here and checking how often certain characteristics or certain features apply. And in the end, we just get to um, yeah, compute this. And here we would get in this first case, uh, let's, let's check what the solution says, 27 divided by 43. 